Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And today, we're gonna be talking about the AT&T Smart Home Manager app. So, if you are a new user, or you have an existing account that you haven't used in a while, I'm going to show you how to download the app, how to set it up, and what features it has. Now, this app is available for iOS and Android devices. It works with select internet gateways, and some of the newer ones do require a separate smart home device to work with. But I'll go over all that, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And for my regular viewers, if you could take three seconds out of your day and just click on that like button, it really helps support the channel. And if you like content like this, maybe consider subscribing because there's a lot more where this came from. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download the application. So I am gonna go ahead and pull up my phone and I am gonna show you exactly where to find it. So if you have an iPhone, you're gonna go into the App Store and then type in at and T Smart Home. You're gonna see this icon right here. This is the one you want. Go ahead and tap on it. From here, tap on Open. Once you get into the application, this is what it's going to look like. If you already have an account, go ahead and sign in. If you don't have an account, go ahead and tap on create an account. From here, they're going to ask you for some basic information like your name, your email address, a username and password, and also your phone number. Now this is important, make sure that the phone number you put in here matches the account that is associated with the internet gateway. So this is the gateway that brings the internet into your home. It is very important that these two accounts match, otherwise you will not be able to use the app. After you fill in all that information, you're going to be brought to this screen that says getting started. Now most likely when you signed up for your internet service, the technician either installed this gateway or showed you how to install it. Most of these gateways are plug and play meaning, once you take it out of the box, plug it into the wall and then connect your devices to it. That's pretty much all you have to do. There's no configuration required, but if you're having issues with the setup, I've included a link in the description below. And it's a PDF file that goes through step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up your gateway. Once you have your gateway set up, you can proceed to add devices to your network. Now keep in mind that not all devices work with this app. You can only use devices that are compatible with the gateway that you have. If you try to add a device that's not compatible, it simply won't work. So it's important to know which devices are supported. So, to view the list of supported devices, go to the top left-hand corner, tap on the menu icon, and then tap on Smart Home Devices. From here, scroll down and you're going to see the list of devices that are supported. So, I have a Smart Home Access Point, which is called the B-Gateway. And, if you have this device, you can add a variety of devices to it. So right now I have cameras, doorbells, switches, plugs, sensors, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. Now I don't own any of those devices. I just looked them up so that I could show you what devices are available. Now you can add these devices to the app and control them manually, but I am going to show you something else real quick. So if you go to the main page of the app and you tap on the menu icon, you're going to see a tab for each room in your house. So this is something cool that you can do with the app. Once you have everything set up, the app is going to map out your floor plan and assign devices to the rooms. So for example, if I go to my living room, you're going to see that I have a switch here. Now this switch is controlling the light in my living room, but it doesn't actually show that the light is on or off. To make that change, I have to manually tap on the switch to turn the light on and off. However, if I go to my office, you're going to see that I have a plug connected to the light strip in the back of my computer desk. And when I go to that plug, you're going to see that it shows that the light strip is currently on. And if I tap on it, I can turn it off, and that's something unique about the app. It will show you whether the device is on or off, but only for certain devices. For example, you can see here that I have a camera in my entryway. If I go to that camera, you're going to see that it shows that the camera is live. 
That means it's turned on, and if I tap on it, it's going to start recording. And when I stop recording, it's going to say camera is arming. And when I go back to the main page, you're going to see that it says the camera is now ready. That means it's turned off. That's how you know if a device is turned on or off. Some devices like the camera have multiple actions that you can perform. For example, if I tap on that camera, it gives me the option to either view live, which I just did, or I can view recorded videos. So, if I go to recorded videos, you're going to see all the videos that were recorded in that room. I can go through and view them and even download them if I wanted to. And then if I scroll down, you're going to see some more options. I can add a device to this room, I can change the settings, or I can delete the room altogether. Now, if you have multiple gateways or multiple accounts, you can go to the top left-hand corner and tap on the profile icon. From here, you can view all the devices that you have set up in the app and you can also view all the rooms. You can even add additional accounts if you want. Now let's talk about the security features of this app because that's another cool aspect. So at the top of the screen, you're going to see three horizontal lines and then you're going to see a shield icon. When you tap on that shield, it takes you to the security section of the app. From here, you can enable and disable the Wi-Fi network. And when you do that, it affects all the devices that are connected to it. So if I disable the Wi-Fi network, none of my devices are going to work. However, if I re-enable it, they're all going to come back online. You can also enable a guest network if you want. Now keep in mind that you have to have a dual band internet connection to do that. And finally, if you go to the bottom of the security tab, you're going to see the activity log. So if you go into that, you're going to see all the activities that are associated with your account. So anytime a device is turned on or off, it's going to show up here. Anytime someone connects to your guest network, it's going to show up here. So this is a good way to monitor your network. So that's pretty much it. This is the AT&T Smart Home Manager app. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best of my ability. Like I said before, I have a link in the description to the PDF file that shows you how to set up the gateway. So if you need help with that process, check out that document. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.